Very proud of our team. I thought we competed really, really hard. We understood the game plan of what we were trying to accomplish. Um, thought we got much better in the second half offensively, despite only scoring 10 in the uh, fourth. Thought we had some nice drives to the hole in the fourth quarter that didn't result in uh, made points or free throws. Um, but for the most part, uh, I thought our kids really competed hard, hooked it up, and gave ourselves an opportunity. When, when you get that close and you're right there, it's, it's disappointing that you don't finish it out. But uh, uh, I don't think it's due to a lack of effort or a want to on our kids. Um, we got to play that hard all the time. We got to learn how to play that hard all the time and good things will happen. I'm not predicting wins. I've never, never done that. But if you compete that hard, uh, are that locked in and understand what you're trying to accomplish, uh, good things are going to happen and we're going to get better. But we got to have that same type of focus and effort on the practice floor to have the type of growth that we need in this team. And, and uh, if, if we had played this hard in a couple other games, uh, they would have probably resulted in wins. So uh, it's just a matter of, uh, and, and we gave them some easy, we gave them some easy buckets in the fourth uh, because we just don't understand how to, to finish things out sometimes right now. But uh, again, a lot of positive things. I thought we grew up in a lot of areas. Uh, Jamie Asbury was was special tonight. And, you know, she turns and, and makes some mistakes off that. But what I liked about her game is that she had uh, the courage to take shots, played with no fear against uh, the number one team in the country. And sometimes that no fear gets you in trouble. But, you know, it also shows signs of what she's capable of. I um, thought Braxton and Viv, uh, were guarded very tough and responded. Uh, Viv did a great job on the boards with 11 rebounds, and I thought Braxton hit some some big shots in the second half. But for the most part, I thought all of our kids understood what we were trying to do, and uh, really, really competed hard. Coach Hurley, you set the tone on defense as, as the aggressor. You four 16 turnovers, nine of them steals. What do you have to say about the defense for your team tonight? You know, our, our kids, uh, Sometimes what we were trying to do, we lost somebody for an easy bucket, you know, and, and we were doing some things that we don't traditionally do here. So there are going to be some mistakes, but they, they played with uh, an effort level and a, a commitment to be aggressive. Um, they're just good. They're good and they're big and they're hard to keep away from the basket and, and uh, their big kids do a good job of, of passing out of double teams as well, which makes them real effective. But, uh, you know, um, again, not, not into moral victories, but very proud of what our kids, uh, the type of effort they gave. And now the challenge I gave them is can you sustain that for the, the second half of this season and see what it gets us. Their height, but Cassie Delap, I know she picked up that fourth foul right before the start of the fourth quarter, but she was really holding her own against Kalani Brown for most of the game. What do you have to talk about her game tonight? You know, I, I liked that, that she didn't back down and, and she was where she needed to be and and she was on the proper side. We didn't give up many drop step layups to, to them tonight. They, they usually get a lot of drop step layups, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, other kids stepped up and, and made shots, and uh, um, Cassie competed. She she played well, and and uh, we got to get her involved more offensively. But uh, she's doing everything that we ask her to ask her to do. But when um, Miriam went out, and when Cassie went out, we got real little in a hurry, and and I thought it hurt us. The uh, free throw disparity. What, what's your thoughts on, on how that turned out? I guess we fouled a lot, and they didn't foul very much. Yeah, you know, the rule, uh, I can't say anything. I can't talk about it. I'm not going to talk about officiating. But, 
you know, we we can't foul that much and send people to the free throw line and and uh, you know we got to find something to to get to the free throw line more. I think we shot two free throws in the second half, so we got to find something offensively that uh, allows us to get to the free throw line a little bit more. Coach Latasha Jones has given up a, a bunch of height to both of the bigs that she was matched up against. Um, she didn't get a ton of rebounds, didn't necessarily show up on the stat sheet, but how did you like the way she battled underneath? Yeah, I thought she battled. Uh, I thought there was times that she was a little slow on some rotations that we needed that we got to have out of her. But, uh, you know, I, there's little things in the game that uh, she competes, and, and then I thought she did a good job of screening and getting people open and reversing the ball in the second half. There's a lot of ways that you can help your team other than scoring. But uh, Tosh is just like the rest of them. They competed. They wanted to do well. And at times we missed some assignments. And, and you know, when again, when you play them, you've got to be real close to perfect. And I thought we played really hard. But in the fourth, we weren't close to perfect. And that's that's what it takes. Coach, what was kind of going through your head in the third quarter? Y'all were, y'all were up by as much as six points. Just what, what was your thought process during that time? Uh, we're playing pretty good. This is fun. You know, this is fun. And our kids are, are feeling it a little bit. And they're trusting in each other. And they started reversing the ball and doing some things that we didn't do in the first half. So, you know, when, when you see some growth and you see some things that are improvement within the game, uh, it, it makes you feel good and, and optimistic of, of what could happen. And it's just that we got to do that all the time. I mean, it, this team hasn't been a team that has thrown many really bad games out there. We've thrown some bad quarters out there, okay? We fall behind Iowa State 32 to 9, and then we score 51 in the second half. So uh, there's there's been times that we we lose it and lose focus what we need to do within the game. It is that I, I can't look at um, maybe K State. I can't look at many other games and just say you know we stunk it up. You know it's just we have we have lapses where we don't do things right, and that's my job as a coach to get us to do that right on a more regular basis. Talk a lot about confidence with this team, and you mentioned Jamie went out there with no fear tonight, shot the lights out. What can that do just for her moving forward to have that type of performance against the number one team? You know what? What adds to your confidence? Confidence if you can do that the next time out. You know, confidence. Confidence grows when you have consistency. So, what will she do? What will our players do? What will the other players do? the next time out. Uh, preparation and consistency builds confidence. And those are the two things that we need to do to, to gain confidence. You do it one night out, not the next, you're not going to be as confident as you need to do. But that, that's what we need is consistency. And you look at Baylor, they've won 31 straight road games. Is that right? That's consistency. That's doing it right on a daily basis. And they're very talented, very talented on top of it. But again, I, I say that they're coached well. And uh, they, uh, I've made the comparison that they're like Lombardi and the Packers. They don't run 50 things, but the six things they run is really good. On that note of consistency and, and doing the next time out, I got TCU on Sunday. You think the girls seeing what they did tonight and seeing what their effort did for for them is going to help them in that preparation and saying, hey, we did this against Baylor. We can do this. It's, it just takes more effort from us. I hope so. I hope so uh, uh, that that they understand. I, the message that I gave our team is there's there's wins left up on the board up there if they'll, they'll play as hard as they can. And I don't think Coach Mulkey would – feel bad that what she told me after the game and I don't think I'm betraying something that she said is if your kids play that hard all the time good things are going to happen and I appreciated that comment but we've got to play hard all the time and bring it like we did tonight anything else thank you guys thank you
next Andrew Riley, not the next Tiffany Bias. She wants to be, you know, her own player. And tonight, you know, she really had a great performance against the number one team in the country. Overall, what do you see from her and having that confidence that she plays with going out there with no fear? Honestly, I think that's a great thing to say. I think a lot of times here we, like, compare one player to the next that, you know, came out of here, but it's good for her to want to be, you know, her own and not be, oh, she's just like this person. So that's good to that she has those aspirations. I think tonight being a freshman and not being scared to go in there, you know, against 6'7 and 6'5 and things like that is huge, and you have to have a lot of confidence, honestly, for that. So I think she – just got one step closer to those aspirations, and I think she did a great job tonight and hit some good shots and some open shots that obviously we needed, got some really good steals, and gave us a lot of momentum, so she's doing great. I mean, you guys, early on, you guys started getting steals early there and getting those points on the fast break. Was that an emphasis that you guys had, that you had to create your own possessions to get against this efficient team? on in practice, but I think it's something that Jamie's really good at. She's good at picking those passes off. Um, and obviously she did that really well today. Braxton had a few steals that were crucial. I think that really um, got them on their toes, which, um, I, I mean, I don't think they were really expecting that from us. Mm -hmm. I don't think they were expecting that pressure. And after so. you get steals like that, you know, every team starts to think about every next yeah. pass. So it kind of get in their head a little bit. Yeah. You think getting in their head kind of made it to where that they were, they were playing a little bit more, more with more fear. Like you mentioned, Braxton, they were scared of where to pass it, and that kind of just helped you guys out and put, gave, gave more of your confidence that you were doing that to them. I wouldn't say they played with fear. I don't know if Baylor will ever play with fear. Um, I would definitely not say they play with fear. I think it's not really fear. It's just uh, uh, timid now. Maybe they don't swing it as fast, like let me make sure she's open before I swing it. Same thing that would be for any team, not just Baylor. So I think that's something um, that for sure helped us uh, getting in those passing lanes and things like that. But I wouldn't say that, you know, they were scared or anything like that. It's just like a little bit of something that you have to think about. Maybe just the ball doesn't get moved as quickly as it would have before. Vivian, you had 11 rebounds, and it was kind of a team effort on the on the boards tonight. Um, but what did, was that kind of the, with their size, was that kind of the, the message coach was trying to send was this was going to be a team effort on the boards tonight? Yes, it was definitely, we put a lot of emphasis on blocking out because they are really good rebounders. They're really tall, really big girls, really strong. So um, that was definitely something that was in our game plan was to block out. And I honestly I had no idea that I had 11 rebounds. I thought I had like yeah, two. You go for but, it. So that was definitely something that we, I mean, we worked on it in practice, uh, blocking out, trying to stay strong because they're really, they're strong and they're really good at rebounding. That's like one of their specialties. Big, strong. They're good at getting good. those second chance points. Just Great. second chance points, yeah. So I think we blocked out pretty well today, actually. Big. Yeah. Everybody did. Mm -hmm. Going by two after the third quarter, um, what went into the, the fourth quarter that kind of let the game get away from you guys? Um, I wouldn't – I don't know. I think that we made some uh, – I think we fouled too much. Definitely fouled too much. And I think there was some crucial plays and crucial mistakes that happened. I, I don't I couldn't necessarily say that there's one I mean besides fouling, okay, but I wouldn't necessarily say that there's one big thing that we're like, oh, we didn't do that as well or we didn't do that as well. I think we came out with the same intensity. I think we wanted it just as bad. I just think that there were some plays that were game changers and that gave them momentum and that led into them kind of pulling away. But we fought hard and kind of stayed with what we were trying to do and what we we're supposed to do from, you know, the start. So that was pretty good. This is for either one of you. How difficult is this team to guard with how good of passers Cox and uh, Kalani Brown are underneath? Because, I mean, a couple times you guys were double teaming down and they were finding the open man. Yeah, um, it's extremely difficult. We knew that was going to happen. I was on um, Landrum majority of the time. She's a good shooter. We knew that, so she got a few threes off. But you kind of oh, have yeah, to. I, was on DD and she, I mean, they, she knows to back cut. A lot of people sag yeah. off of her. She knows to back cut. So there's just some things you have to give and you have to take. And because of their incredible post presence, we knew that we were going to have to stop that first, and then you know rotate out and handle things later. But they're great passers, so it definitely was a challenge. But for the most part, we did a pretty good job. You mentioned rotation. How did you guys think your rotation was throughout the course of the game? Because the start of the game seemed like it was, it was yeah. really good. It was I pretty good. We had a good rotation, yeah. especially since we hadn't really um, 
played anything like that before. Mm -hmm. We just started it a few days ago, so I actually think we did pretty well on it. It was pretty it. good. And like I said, you got to give and take some things. So a few threes out there, it's, you know, it's a three or a and one layup sometimes. You just kind of got to decide what's higher percentage and play out from it. But as far as rotations went, we did a pretty good job, and there's only so much you can do. Seeing what you guys did tonight for three and a half quarters against this team, do you think it's just going to help the confidence moving forward? Coach mentioned that you have to have consistency for that confidence to go forward and you get TCU on Sunday. But do you think if you give that effort like you did tonight, <coughs> you know, things are going to start coming together like you saw how they did against Baylor? I mean, yeah. It's definitely a confidence builder. Obviously, it would have probably been more of a confidence builder if we won. But I think we played really hard. We and the, competed really well. Yeah. And I don't think there was ever a time that we backed down or felt like, oh, we can't do it or anything like that. So I think that um, it'll definitely build confidence into the next few games. And one thing that's just going to be super important is going out every game as if it's Baylor to us and showing that effort and that intensity and that confidence that I think we kind of had today. So that'll definitely be crucial for our next few games for us to keep pulling it out and grinding and things like that. I think as a team, we play harder against ranked opponents. So I think that's yeah. something that we need to bring to every game is playing that hard, which, I mean, we did great tonight, and hopefully hopefully that'll carry over to TCU. Feel it's like, going to be a tough game there. Yeah. I feel like games like uh, Baylor and Tennessee that we've had, you know, this year, UCLA, we like kind of go out with there's nothing to lose. You know what I mean? Just and people don't really try expect it from us. So yeah, kind of be the underdog. It's just try your hardest, and I think that that's one thing we just kind of have to do all the time and just really focus on it, working as hard as we